Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome to a new game, Patron It's Cool and it's coming out to Steam sometimes this year. I was lucky enough to grab an alpha build and I want to show you what this game is all about. It's pretty similar to Banished, only that it's way more beautiful and stuff like that. Um, here we have now the Sleepy Hollow town name once again with uh, the banner. We continue. I just want to show you real quick what this game offers at this point. We have around eight maps available here as we can see. Um, unfortunately at the moment we can only play the Mediterranean at this point. So peaceful, almost Mediterranean looking island with a lot of fertile soil, scarred with bays and coves. It's truly a place your people will be proud to call home. Looking good, soil fertility is high, oil richness is high, weather is temperate. Also we have a lot of difficulty settings here. I'm going to leave this one as standard as it is right now. And without further ado, let's get cracking. I also just want to thank all my supporters and Patreon supporters. Nice coincidence there that are watching this one. Thank you for your support. And if you want to follow me live, I'm also streaming on Twitch regularly several times a week. Just have a look at the video description. Let's get cracking. Here we are already on a fresh map. Um, with our little town center in the center, I like that my banner is there, my few survivors that we have, unfortunately they don't have a name at this point, right, so I can't click on them really, there's nothing happening. What we can see though is my research tree, that is quite extensive at this point, and yes, well, let's get cracking, let's start. I always like to start with, let's say, gather resources, so as always, we are pretty familiar with that mechanic now we can just uh, gather everything in its vicinity like those trees here i would also like to build my first road we can actually unpause the game so my settlers are now doing the tasks while we continue building our first roads i would like to have a road hmm, over here that goes into the forest and as we can see those trees are rather high it's difficult to see something so let's just get rid of them for now and we can continue with our road system there we have now my villagers also chopping down the first trees. And housing shortage would be one of the problems that we have. Yes, I know. We're getting some wood in. So let's build us the first houses. We have the option of a couple of them. The tent, the house, the shelter, the two-story house and the stone house. Um, of course, depending on their sophistication, depending on the, 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 the quality of their timber, for example, they are paying us taxes. This is one of the major things to get taxes to get coins in. Coins is a very valuable resource that we have and we do need that quite often. So we should make sure that my people are living in decent houses so they pay us a good amount of taxes. Let's get this road over there around the town hall and build us the... Let's just start with houses right away. Ah, I don't have a road there yet so we should also make sure that we do have a road all the way into this area. And then we can have some houses, the best houses in the area, because they're just basically beside my, my town hall, right? So the rich people live here in the future. For now, it's the peasants. We are also gathering some stone and some ore that we have in the area here. Very important that we grab all of that. And I think it's also time for our first resource buildings. Look at how many there are. Crazy. Now, the depot is the most important one early on because we can store resources there. I would like to have one, yep, right up here. So I think this is a good location for it because we can then have a road around it and stuff like that. The gatherer, huge buildings by the way. And the gatherer we're going to place here. Obviously this one is a gathering berries and stuff like that. We do need a hunting lodge. I love how there's a little sign on them, hunting grounds. Right -o. This is where we're going to hunt a bit. We also need a forester hut. This is even bigger than the other ones, my goodness. And let's just see that we find a suitable location for it. I like this one a lot. Uh, it's probably good that we have a road just beside it for later then, for later expansion. And one more thing is that I would like to have is the sawmill, which is the biggest of these buildings. And the sawmill is producing us then some timber. And firewood. I think it's firewood for now actually. Let's build it. I'm going to leave also a bit of uh, space between the houses and the roads just for aesthetic reasons. I like it much more like that. We can also speed up the time up to 10. Then they would be really quick about their jobs. 
and let's also activate the trees again. I think it's much nicer. As we can see, first of all, we have to chop down some trees again. It's spring, 11 degrees right now. We still have a bit of coin tools we have plenty of lumber we have firewood very important that we have lots of that and also our first little huts are coming up actually it's real houses here and as we can see first of all i like the graphics a lot so beautiful houses there i'm not a fan of the tropical trees and stuff like that but since we're locked to mediterranean area we have to live with that it's colorful it's colorful that's a good thing in here, we have now people living, so six residents live in each house. We have two houses. Actually, I think that's all the people, right, that we have in the city right now. We have five families, right? Ten adults, six young, three children. We need another house, so this one here is going to work for us. And as we can see, they have their own inventory. So wheat, pork, roots, and firewood is being stored here right now. They're getting it, I guess, from my townhouse for now getting those resources to live with and we can also start upgrading if we want to firewood and coal upkeep for example on this little guy there she's carrying a lot of stones on her back so where are you going she's going oh okay they're going to the depot now up here so we got the first depot and also those houses are coming up now the gatherer shelter there's the forester hut also my sawmill and very important we need to assign them right so the depot takes one carrier this guy is just basically carrying stuff around all day a woodcutter two gatherers one forester one hunter i think that's good for now hmm after all i might i might need to move the depot down there i think if they're always going like that ah beautiful a bit of rain we also have a weather system working Ah, and this is looking atmospheric. I like that a lot right now. We still have a housing shortage, so I will still need to build a few more houses. Let's continue with another one. 30 coin and 8 lumber. We can do that. Let's build it. Yes, over here. Ah, isn't that looking cool with the lantern? I'm really glad I don't have to build a lantern myself. And there we have another house coming up then. With a beautiful view of my of the lake that we have there that is then going into the ocean. And yes, people are working diligently. Housing is needed. What we can do in the meantime while they're doing all of that, we can start with the first research. So the quarry would be our first one. Uh, allows the construction of quarries used for extracting stone. The fisherman hut gives me fishes. Actually, let's go with the fisherman first. Cost me a bit of coin and a bit of lumber here. There's a lot of stuff we need to research in this game. Let's just see if we can get that far. This is, after all, an early alpha impression the game and video. The stock is piling up, as we can see. Quite the busy road. And the research is done very good. Let's just check it out. We have the fisherman now. Perfect. Also cleared path. This is really expensive. Let's go with the quarry. Those are unlocking then more things. The ice fishing. We can then fish during winter. I guess we need to hurry up with that. It's Well, we're coming into May now. So year one. The summertime is starting soon. And winter is approaching at some point as well. So I guess our major goal is to survive the first winter, that is. We could also go for a lot of degrees if I had the influence, in the, if I had those degrees researched. They give me certain bonuses to my economy, to my people and stuff like that. So pretty important that we have a look at them as well. We still have homeless people. Alright. We don't need any more jobs, that's at least something. Let's go ahead and build the fishermen so that we get some fishes in. Where do we have my fishermen? Oh, we need the coin, right? We are lacking a bit of coin right now. Those houses need to pay us. They pay 120 per year. Right now we are making 417 per month. But we are using 300 in wages. So there's not a whole lot of coin that's left over at the moment. 
And I also took the liberty of building a second depot down here. We can get rid of this one now because, yeah, basically I really did like this depot so far up there. So let's get rid of this house. And now we are just using this depot here. We have a global market or global storage, by the way. So it doesn't matter if I get rid of one stockpile or build more of them later. They're all using the same amount of stock, right? So they're not individual warehouses. All right, it's summer, 32 degrees, beautiful, August 27 degrees. And we have a bit of money now in food is 85. So that's still looking good, but uh, you can never have enough food and we can now afford the fisherman's hut. Um, this one produces us some, some additional fish. We should be careful though, because I need a harbor as well uh, later on. So I'm going to build this one as close to this area here as possible so that we do have a bit of space then for um, the docklands that I need up there. Right, oh, there we have it, and also a road that goes all the way there. And there we have another crossing now, perfect. A little block of houses is coming along as well. Let's just finish this road here, so now basically all of them have a road access. And what I also usually like to do is I'm going to have a double layered road system here. The cool thing is roads don't really cost you money. So I can I have all the freedom in the world if I want to. Uh, place more roads then like here for example all the way now here to make this road a bit brighter a broader right because it's a bit slim otherwise and here i would like to continue then with some more houses building a fisherman hut takes a long time as we can see and it's also taking lots of resources. While this is happening, we can also have a look at the other statistics that we have. For example, the happiness. As we can see, we do have an overall, well, good happiness. Actually, it's a low happiness, which I don't believe it's at 86, so it should be fine. Um, of course, if there is higher happiness and if we have free housing, people will move to my city, to my village. So that should be one of my paramount um, goals. I'm going to finish this block here. Remember, this is more or less my downtown, right? So I want to have densely populated houses and stuff like that. The further we get out, then the less houses we're going to have, of course. Um, let's just have a, another double row behind. Behind my town hall. As we're building the next house, everything here is working. The fisherman hut is finished. Let's just assign a fisherman to that building there we have it only one is required that's very lucky we could also put an expansion in there and have another worker slot or sturdy nest with increases the production but it costs me tools and tools is limited money is also rather low so i'm not doing that for now i think we'll be fine it's september or the end of september autumn is approaching 18 degrees and yes also the forests are turning their color to beautiful red and orange leaves winter is coming now soon it's getting colder so my people are going to use more and more firewood we could be thinking about an upgrade here for firewood and coal upkeep reduction i think though we should be fine right so last month for example we used 15 firewood only but it was september right so yeah a rather warm month it's getting a bit colder now so they're going to use more of that and food seems to be pretty good as well i like that we see the statistics right away once we just hover over it so that's very convenient Now the strange thing is we have so many normal trees here and there we have the palm trees. You know what? Let's get rid of all the palm trees here because I really, really don't like them in the area. So just chop down all of these palm trees. We have the normal trees then. I think this one does not look good in winter. And another thing is we could still gather some stone and iron. So that's something we have over here. Some more deposits. Right. We also would have the mining production building now, but I'm not using that since those resources are really close for more, well, more distance resources like those guys here. Perfect. We could use a mine then and a quarry. Ah, it's getting really dark now. The end of October is approaching. Temperatures are dropping. 
And the king sends his regards. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He's clearly pleased with us. So we have some external forces there. Potatoes, 25. Well, thank you for that. It's not like we really needed those potatoes. But you can always be happy about that. What I could do is um, we could have another hunter here. I think we're not that stable on the food supply. Huh. Make, it would make sense, I think. To train some hunter there. It's pretty expensive though. Let's go ahead with that and have a second hunter working. Also, we can go with more research. Decorative hatch. We could build hatches. We have the first degree here. Enacting the policy increases production quarries, coal mines, iron mines, forest huts, toolsmiths, and brickworks by 20%. 100 coin. Let's go with the mine first. I would rather amass more wealth. And yes, November it is. It's starting to snow. Even though we're in the Mediterranean. Never expected snow to come down where we have palm trees. So that's why we're chopping them down. And it's getting really cool. How's it looking with the firewood? We should be using way more now. It's already double. But that was October. Alright, while the snow is coming down, there is another building that we haven't built yet that is really expensive and that is the docks. So the docks we need over here to trade with the outside world. But let's just find us a suitable location for the docks. I think there we can squeeze them in. And it's a really tight space, so I don't have a lot of room to maneuver here. Mm, I guess we're going to build it there. Perfect. Let's also have a street to it. It's going to take quite some time finishing the docks here. Let's also have a bigger plaza than just here where we have the docks right now. And with this we can then trade and also sell some stuff that we have some surplus. Oh look at that. The food is now dwindling so we are definitely consuming more than we need. I might, I might, I might, I might need to send someone. Yeah, the gatherer is not working now so very weakly only. The fisherman, we can, yep, have another fisher slot. So that we get a few more fishermen in here. We don't have enough workers. Alright, but hopefully there's no one dying at this point. Firewood? Oh, we've consumed a lot. It's December already. I can already see the winter is rather harsh. <laughs> We're still collecting during the gatherer. So I would like to boost the production here by 25%. That we can do. So that we get a bit more food coming in here, like roots, blackberry, yeah, you can make a soup out of that. At least that's something. And as we can see, the docks, yep, it's taking its time. Pagan help. My leech, the locals have noticed our food shortage and are, thankfully, offering help. They've offered to bring us food and they aren't asking for anything in return. The clergy have reacted already. However, they don't like the idea of pagan animals helping us. What should we do? Um, either we boost religion <laughs> or pagan or not, we won't refuse a helping hand. Give them all the hospitality we can offer. Yes, let's do this. We definitely do need some food. So I underestimated the amount of food that we need. Uh, it's a mistake that it's not going to happen again. We will boost our food production once the winter is over. We still have a bit of space here as well, so I can continue building. And I think we also... We could research the hatches or... Ah! Also, someone grew up. So we have, of course, children and young ones. The young ones become the adults. And we got an additional adult here. A worker that is working for us now. Carrier. We could have two. Hmm. Or I'm just waiting for the, the docks here. And after a bit of time, we now have all the resources and the docks are being built. Boy, that's a really huge building. There we have it now. It needs another worker. Uh, we only have two, but I guess no harm in that. Let's assign someone. And now with that, we can start trading. The king once again sends his regards. 36 lumber. Thank you very much for that. I'm not complaining. Let's have a look at the trading. So that we have it. We could sell some surplus. For example, we have lots of stone. I could sell some stone with the next trade, so let's say 25, right? And the same thing for the lumber. Yes, we could sell that. So this would give us 42 coin. And let's trade this one. 
So I guess we need to wait now. Yes, for a trade ship. That's going to take a while. We also have no firewood. Huh. Let's see. Let's boost production by mechanization. 200. That's a whole lot. You know what? Let's not do this. Let's use something else in addition. So we it's already March, so it should get warmer now. I'm hoping that we are not losing any people. But what we can do is we can use coal, right? So there we have something that we can use for that. We have unlocked it now. And that is the coal mine. This one here. This one I could use then. And we can already see their efficiency. For example, it's zero here. But it's around a whopping... 100% in this area. Hmm. There it's a 100%. Perfect. We should probably build a coal mine here. And I'm doing that. Let's also have a road once again. So from our road here. All the way to that coal mine there. So we can exploit some coal. And coal is also being used for heating. Plus we could also have a look at insulation. Actually, we could afford that for next winter. We need to be way better prepared for the next winter, though. Yes. Okay, trading still taking its time, as we can see. Um, people are freezing now. Come on, it's already spring. Why are we not producing anything? We do have enough lumber, so that's not the problem. Alright, it's getting warm now. No one is freezing anymore. Poo, that was very close though. And it should definitely not get this close anymore. I would also like to have a few more adults, please. No idea. Get a few more in. That might be very important. <laughs> There's lots of piggies running around. And yes, the single worker that we have finished the coal mine in all its glory. There we have it now. And well, the last worker that we have is now working as a miner in here in this coal mine. Efficiency should be 100%. We could also boost it then later. The church needs money to attend to everyone's needs of the soul. The church needs to satisfy the more material needs first, but for a modest sum of coins. All right. Right, after all, we have a bit more coin. Probably never a bad idea. Boy, those bears are really quick. So the mine is working. It's a bit far away from my town. But we need the coal. So this one should come in now then. Have to get another one. Huh. Oh, trade was finished. I haven't even seen that. The trade is finished, so we could start with something else. We have lots of leather. That is worth two coin, for example. Uh, some tools, some firewood. Nah, I don't really want to sell anything for now. We could purchase something at most, but I think we can produce everything on our own at some point. The mine is working, and we're producing some coal. And I like how they're absolutely not using my roads, so they're totally ignoring my beautiful road layout that I've built. Uh, I don't think we can upgrade that for now. I need to research that, so we would need to go a bit further deeper into that. The toolsmith is very important, of course, so that we get more tools, but it's very expensive as well. Plus, I don't have the workers at the moment. So, all we can do for now is waiting a bit to get the first coal in. There it is, that we can use for heating then as well, and also for a few more people to grow up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. <laughs>